Hey guys, it's the Entity here, and welcome to a Pokemon video. This, I hope it goes down well. Um, some of you may like it, some of you may not. Uh, some of you may think, oh, I'm too hard, I'm too cool to like this. Uh, so, yeah, some of you might not. Uh, but anyway, I have decided to do this Pokemon video because I used to love Pokemon when I was a child, and then I stopped playing it for a few years, and I've recently found my Game Boy. <coughs> Game Boy Advanced. Uh, which is over there on the bed and I've started playing Pokemon again which I really enjoy because it's a good way to pass the time and it was a great game and I really enjoyed playing it so I decided to do it on my channel which I said a few videos ago that I might do uh, so yeah here we are uh, I decided to use a face cam for this which is a bit weird because I don't usually do face cam things but hello excuse me if you don't like my face but this is my face so deal with it um, I can't exactly change it, so, yeah. Uh, so, this is going to be Pokemon Fire Red, uh, which is a remake of the original Pokemon game, which came out 20 years ago, a few days ago. Cool fact for you there. So, I hope you do like this playthrough, because I'm going to have a lot of fun playing it. So, yeah, let's just get started. Right, so they're having a fight already. Well, okay, uh, so we'll skip that. Pokemon Fire Red version, press start. Okay. And here we go. We don't need to know that. We don't need to know the controls at all. We don't need to know. We just, we just, we just don't need to know. We just don't. It's just one of those things we don't need to know. It's like RE. We don't need to know it. I'm pretty good at RE. We don't know why I say we don't need to know it because we probably don't need to know it at all. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world. Is inhabited far and wide by cre creatures known as Pokemon. So, for some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Okay, so this is the bit where we get to choose the character that we want to play as, uh, and our name and stuff. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Obviously a girl. We gotta go with girl. No, I'm joking guys. We're gonna go with a boy Let's begin with your name. What is it? So we are going to go with E and then lower Because yeah, you don't write in capitals. It's just something you don't do and where's the T? Oh, it's over there T I T Y entity there we go. Um, yeah, we're happy with that. Right. So your name is entity. Yes, yes it is. Well, it's not, but we'll say it is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Um, what was his name again? I'm gonna call him Gary, but honestly, he should remember what he's called. We could just name him whatever we want. We could, we could, call, we could have called him, like, Pig or something like that, and he's, he would have been like, Oh, yeah, yeah, so he is. But he's not. He's his stupid granddad. I'd hate it if my grandparents forgot what my name was. That'd be awful. But then again, they do, they do, like, whenever, whenever you're at your grandparents' house, they go, will you, will you pass me that, and then go through everybody's name, like, Jemima. There's not even Jemima in the family, what are you on about? <sighs> but, so yeah, that, that does actually happen quite a lot. Um, okay, so this is my room, I guess. Uh, what, it, what is this? An NES. Well, that's old. <laughs> Can I go into bed? I can go into bed, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, so the, guys, this is my PC. Uh, and in here, I can withdraw an item, which is a potion, which can basically heal my Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, it's that, that's always good. Let's roll. Just don't need to read any of that stuff. I know what's happening. Hi, mum. Bye, mum. I'm going out. Where are you going? Out. See ya. Uh, so we're gonna go up here. If, if you haven't guessed, guys, I know what I'm doing. I have played this quite a few times. I think I've, been, I've completed this game like 30 odd times. I, I used to play it quite a lot. It was the first video game I ever played, so yeah. This is the game that sort of got me into gaming, uh, which I do a lot of today. I used to do a lot of reading. I should probably start reading a bit more. I have, well, I have actually been reading Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship of the Rings for the first time, because all my friends have read it, and I'm just sort of like, yeah, I sort of haven't read it. <laughs> And then, then they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, sorry. And they're like, how oh, dare you? So yeah, I've been reading that. 
Uh, I think I'm up to like page 40. So yeah. So this this bit, guys, is where I can choose the Pokemon. Uh, so I think I know what Pokemon I'm going to choose, and that Pokemon will be revealed to you in just a second. You can have go on, choose. Gary, hey Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one too. I I picture Oak as the sort of Yoda character, and uh, so guys, th these are the three Pokemon we could choose. This one here is a Bulbasaur. Which we are not going to choose as it's grass and weak and awful. We don't want to choose that. And then this one is a Squirtle, which is a pretty good Pokemon by all standards, uh, but we're not going to choose that one. And the one we are in fact going to choose is a Charmander. Yes, it's a bit cliche, I know, but just bear with me. I like I like the Pokemon Charmander, and it's powerful. And there aren't that many fighting Pokemon in the game, so I decided just to get Charmander. Uh, I don't know why I clicked on that. We're not, we're not going to give him a nickname. I don't like giving Pokemon nicknames. I don't understand how people can do it. It's just like, why nickname me Pokemon? It's just not, you, why? There's no point. It's like getting a Charmander and calling it like John. Why would you call it John? Stupid nicknames. I hate him. Awful. Right, uh, so uh, let's go and speak to Professor Oak. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it, with you, with it at your side, you should be able to reach the next level. Oh, what did he say? Oh, the writing is so slow. The writing on the wall. Oh, the next town on the next level. Uh, right, let's just see what we can do here. Option. Fast. Sorted. So let's go. Wait, Entity, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So guys, this is going to be our first battle against uh, good old Gary, uh, Gazlad. Uh, so yeah, he chose a Squirtle because it's more effective against my Charmander, which they always do. It's not just Gary being clever, uh, understanding like what what I'm what I'm going to take and what he has to do to take me down. No, they all they they always choose that. So ne never will I choose a Charmander. They will choose a Bulbasaur. That will never happen, unfortunately, because that would just be sick. I could defeat him so easily, but, but Gary ends up being like one of the hardest people to defeat ever. Trust me, you'll see when we get up to that. And so basically what I'm doing guys is I'm just using uh, Scratch, which is basically my like attack attack. Uh, my Growl is basically, it just, I don't even know what it does, it either lowers the defense or lowers, I think it lowers the defense or the attack, one of the two, I'm not sure. But guys, yep. Yeah. We have beaten the Squirtle by spamming uh, Scratch. Yeah, by spamming Scratch. So, yeah, that, that was good. Play defeat to rival Gary. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. No, you didn't. Don't worry about it. You didn't, mate. Entity got £80 for winning. Imagine if you actually got money for winning fights. That would just convince me to go into more fights. That would just be sick. Ow, my face. Bang. Bang. Here, half like 100 quid. <laughs> Right, so let's follow Gary. He's just told his sister not to give me a map, I think. I think that's what he said. So, we're, we're gonna go and see if she can give me a map now. Or if that's later on in the game, I'm not sure. No, it's later on in the game, obviously. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So, this, guys, is Route 1. And this is where the two Pokemon can be found are the Rattata, uh, which is just awful god awful and the Pidgey which is not a bad Pokemon uh, to be fair uh, yeah it's pretty weak at the beginning but it gets powerful uh, the higher level it gets like every Pokemon uh, so yeah so not too bad Pokemon I actually want to talk a bit about Rattata 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 uh, about Rattata because I was talking about Rattata today uh, with the guy in school and yeah, we were saying, you know where you stand with a Rattata, we don't like like the new Pokemon like X and Y and all that rubbish, black and white and stuff. The first Pokemon you get are actually fair decent. This is a Rattata by the way. And and you can you can get that the first Pokemon and actually be able to use it. With this, it's, it's not like that. Because a Rattata is god awful. It really is. It, it'll be alright for the first two gyms 
yeah, that's it. It'll, it's god awful after that, so you never want to get a Rattata. Unless you want it as like a HM slave, which you could use it for, I guess. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be using slaves, I'm going to get a, Pokemon, uh, a team of six Pokemon, and for the majority of it, I'm going to be sticking with that team of six Pokemon. And another Rattata has jumped out, why? Why am I scratching it? Why not I just use Ember? For those of you that don't know, Ember is a more powerful uh, attack than Scratch, and it'll do more damage. Hopefully. Yeah, I was going to say, if I'd said that and it did no, next to no damage, that wouldn't have been good. But, yeah, that's what happens. So there we go, guys. We have now made it to Viridian City, which is the next town uh, that, on our list of places to visit. Uh, after that is another city. The name of which I've not forgotten, but has momentarily slipped my mind. Yes. So basically, this is the Pokemon Center, guys. This building with the red roof. Uh, and this is where you can heal up your Pokemon. And basically, yeah, that's about it. And put Pokemon in a PC or release Pokemon and stuff. You can do all that at the Pokemon Center. This is the Pokemon Market with the blue roof. And basically, you can buy things from here like potions and antidotes and Pokeballs and stuff like that. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Prof Oak, right? His order came in. Can I just take it to him? Entity received Oak's parcel from the Pokemon Market clerk. Entity put the Oak's parcel in the key items pocket. Right, so this is the next part of the storyline. We have to take this to Professor Oak. Uh, so yeah, if, if you don't do this, you try and go up here. This guy here has fallen over and you can't get past. He, he's, he's just not letting you past. Uh, down here, there is some stuff we might go down later. Uh, just to show you what's down there. Right, let's go back and give Professor Oak this parcel. See what's in it. We'll go this way. Down. Down, 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 down. Oh, go away. Let me just get rid of this for you guys. Sorry about that. So yeah, guys, I am I am playing on my laptop. So things might pop up. Does anyone know how to get rid of things from popping up? Because I don't want them popping up all the time, like when I'm recording. Because that's not something that I want happening. So yeah, if you know what to do with that, please let me know. Thank you. Another pig, pidgey, pig, pig, pidgey. No, it's pidgey, but we will call it a pidgey. It is a pidgey, a female pidgey. It is a pidgey. Kill the pidgey. Kill the pidgey. Okay, we're almost level eight now, which is good because we want to try and level up as fast as we can. So, I've got an itch on my ear. There we go. And oh, entity! How we? Oh, I, I went. To, I I pressed the button too fast, and I I missed what he said. God damn it! Well, he seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Entity delivered Oak's parcel. Yes, we did. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you, Gary. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh right, I have a I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Entity and Gary, take these with you. Entity received the Pokédex from Frost Oak. You you can't just get detailed Pokémon without by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are the Pokemon tools for catching wild Pokemon. Entity received five Pokeballs. So guys, another thing of this game is you don't have to just do the gyms and the Pokemon League and everything like that. You can actually try and catch all 153 or however many Pokemon that are uh, in this game. Uh, in which, I don't know what happened after that, I've never actually done it. Surprisingly, seen as I've been playing this game for, how long have I, have I been playing this game for? About 10 years? I've been playing this game for about 10 years after I got my first Game Boy Color uh, when I was like 6. So, yeah. I've been playing this game for a while. Uh, he's basically saying now he's too, old, he's too old to do it himself so he can get us to do it. He's just lazy. He's not that old. He's like 40. He's not old. He's gonna borrow his town map, map from his sister. I'll tell him not to lend you one entity. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. 
listen, I have never met such an arsehole as Gary Oak. He, I hate him so much. So we're going to go around to his house, right? And we're going to egg him. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to egg his house. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. We're, we're going to go and rob a town map off him. Uh, robbery is much better than egging someone's house. Trust me. Probably not. Even she admits it. He's just lazy. Thank you. So we got a town map off his sister there. And no, why, why did I go that way? I don't know. So now we're going to head out and then go back up to uh, Viridian City uh, and see what's happening up there. Hello. What are you doing? Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling off sort of items. Please visit it in Viridian City. I hear, I know, I'll give you this sample. And we get a potion. So we now, we now have two potions, uh, which we've got, we need as many potions as we can get because they basically heal up your Pokemon, which is what we need. And here we go, guys. We're now going to start catching Pokemon. And the first Pokemon we're going to add to our team, apart from Charmander, because we didn't actually catch him. So the first one we're going to catch is this Pidgey right there. Well, that exact Pidgey right there. Uh, because just look at the way its beak protrudes from its face. It has the meaning of power. You can see it. And the wings. The way the, the curve around its feet shows the faith it has in its own ability. So therefore, it's obviously a good Pokemon to add to our team. So yeah, that is why this Pidgey will be being caught. And to use the Pokeball. Come on, we, we got you. We got you, Pidgey. We got you. We got the Pidgey. Don't worry about it. We caught the Pidgey. Gotcha. Pidgey was caught. Pidgey's data was added to the Poke... 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 It doesn't like to fight. Unfortunately, we're going to make it fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Yeah, basically. Give a nickname to the captured Pidgey. Nope, we do not like nicknames. There's no point unless we call it like Frank or something like that. Because Frank's a good nickname to give a Pidgey. <sighs> Hate nicknames. They're literally. I've, I don't think I've ever nicknamed a Pokemon. I know my brother does it sometimes. Whenever he's had my games, he nicknames Pokemon, which is a bit annoying because whenever I, I go on that game to see what he's been doing, he's just like he has weird names for his Pokemon. And most of them are named the same nickname. It's like why? You don't know you never know the difference. Right, so we've healed up our Pokemon now. And let's go and visit this old bloke. This old geezer up here. Actually no, what we're gonna do next is we are going to uh, get that up. Pokemon. And we're going to switch some uh, my Pidgey comes out first. So I can get some XP on my Pidgey and we'll go this way because I don't I don't know if he'll be here yet or not. But sometimes our good old mate Gazza or or G Gertrude or whatever you want to call him is here and he, wa and he wants a battle. So this guys is the second battle in one episode with Gary which is pretty cool. Sorry about stretching. Meh. If I just fell off the chair then. <laughs> Woke everybody up. That would be good. So he's basically saying that down there is the Pokemon League but he can't get in because the guards won't let him. Uh, by the way, did you get your Pokemon any stronger? No, we didn't. I have a feeling I'm going to lose here. And that won't be good. Because he's going to show me up. Look, he's got a level 9 Pidgey. We haven't even got a level 9. Ch Charm, whatever it's called. Charmander yet. We've lost this, guys. I, I rushed into this a bit too much. Yeah, see. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring out the Charmander. Strategies here, boys. I'm going to bring out the Charmander, I'm going to try and take down this Pidgey with an Ember. Right, so we've used Ember. It's it's done more damage than uh, Scratch would have done. Oh, one HP, wow. Right, what we're going to do, do now is we're going to use a Potion on my Charmander and hope that I don't die. Right, fight Ember. Oh, Sandstar. This basically lowers my accuracy, 
so I'm probably going to miss. I missed. So yeah, that's basically what it does. I hit him that time though, which is good, and I have defeated his Pidgey. My Pidgey is going to level 4, and my Charmander is going to level 8, which is good. Now Gary's about to use Squirtle, and I have a feeling his Squirtle is going to know some water moves, and if it does, we're, we're screwed guys. There's, no, there's nothing we can do. He will, he will destroy us. He will, he will rip us apart. He didn't use a water move, which I'm quite surprised about there. I, I had a feeling that he was going to use a water move. No. No, he didn't. Fair enough. His tackles do more than my tackles do. So therefore, he's probably going to win this. Time for some like strategies, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to confuse him using the power of hypnosis. Uh, and then we're, we're basically going to use growl. See what it does. It, it, it's attack fell. Right. Let me just use scratch. I know my Pokemon's gonna die now. I got a crit. My Pokemon died. But we still have Pidgey. We, we can use Pidgey as our comeback Pokemon. And we can completely just take out the Squirtle using the Pidgey. Uh, and the Squirtle won't even know what I hit him. Oh god, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> no way. No. Way did that just happen. Oh my god, I, I had no idea that was going to happen. Pidgey, you're a legend, mate. Pidgey, you don't even know what you've just done. You've just completely ruined his life. I would expect him to lose that, like, horrifically. But my Pidgey, you see... What did I tell you? My Pidgey. He, he knows what, he knows what's going on. I heard the Pokemon they use crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. And he's gone. So with that guys, we are going to dawdle for a bit. This is going to be the end of this episode. If you have actually watched this all the way to the end, don't forget to slap a like on this video, which is good because it supports me as a, as a YouTuber and like lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. And then I know to put more out, uh, the, uh, the similar, so you guys could enjoy it more. Uh, please comment down below if you've got anything to say at all. Not hate. Don't want hate. No, no, that's good here. If you want, if you want to hate, go and throw it at your next door neighbour. Just get rid of it. We don't. We, no, we don't like hate. Listen, listen, guys. We don't like it. Okay. You can take it and throw it away. Just, just, just wrap it all up inside a big ball. Of, of hateness and throw it away that is what you must do with hate okay uh, so yeah comment if you uh, have anything else to say and please subscribe oh and please share my, share my channel with your friends because I, I sort of want to get a bit bigger I want to get a bigger uh, audience of people watching me so yeah please uh, share with your friends and for more Pokemon please subscribe also, I do other other videos, and if you haven't uh, seen any of them, please check out my other videos. And, as always, guys, adios.